have you guys seen this new AI art technology? I'm seeing this pop up everywhere all of a sudden now. This seems to be the new trend. Apparently, all you do is just give it a photo of yourself, and it turns it into this incredible painting-like portrait of yourself. And I don't like it. And I'll tell you why. I already feel like we live in an era where people's creative efforts aren't as celebrated and appreciated like they used to be in the past. I mean, you have people that film themselves eating food with millions of followers. You have people who wake up in the morning and take selfies or photos of their ass or, you know, lip sync to songs or just basically do nothing in their photos and videos. And they'll get millions of followers. And then you got a kid here who's a 10 year old artist. And he draws these awesome drawings. I mean, and he's a young kid. I mean, you could see the potential here. I mean, like for a 10-year-old. I mean, he was showing some stuff on here from when he was seven that, that is like f- better than I think 99.9% .9 of kids could do at that age. And he's sitting there with maybe 1,500 subscribers versus a guy who eats food with millions of subscribers. Something's wrong here. I mean, if the youth isn't being presented with these things and, 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 and showcased in the mainstream so that everybody can see this, I mean, what, what is there for these kids to be inspired by, you know, when it comes to entertainment or talent or whatever? But going back to this AI-generated art, there's a kid out there that will grow up with this technology knowing that they can just have a portrait done for themselves to perfection with a phone app. Then you have a kid walking past somebody drawing a portrait of somebody at an event or something. And he'll go, mommy, why is he doing this? Why, you, he could just do this with an app. Like they're not going to understand why that's special. They won't understand why that's worth anything. I don't want to celebrate technology. I want to celebrate people's efforts. I mean, look what you can do with photography now with your phones. I mean, you mean to say that there wasn't potential clients for a photographer that could have took the same pictures somebody took of themselves with their phone to create a headshot or a portrait? I mean, of course, there's always going to be need a need for photographers and artists and like and stuff like that. But there's a reason why they're starving artists. It's not that easy. It's not that easy to make a living doing it, you know. But if everybody has the tools in their pocket to do the things that these people are doing for a living, for money. I mean, don't you think that's going to affect these people in some way? Look, there's pros and cons to everything. I just don't think we actually look at the downside and the cons of these new things that we develop. I think we're always looking at the positives, but we're not really looking at how some of these things that we create, how detrimental these things could be uh, for society. For example, these robots that we're developing. I mean, for the past 10 years, all I've been seeing is these videos being shared of, of these, these dog-like robots walking around, running, and, and uh, doing backflips. And, you know, they're, they're poking them with sticks. They're reacting like people opening doors. I, I mean, it, it, does anybody worry about what happens when they put guns in their hands? I mean, is anybody thinking about that? I've been screaming at everybody about this for the past 10 years. And here we are today. I see an article uh, about how San Francisco is now implementing these robots into the police force. I, I mean, so we're basically creating a new entity that's going to be smarter than us and has more power than us. and and emulate the physicality of an elite athlete, and they're just going to clone them over and over. I mean, <laughs> what are we doing here? I mean, you can make a case that robot technology will benefit the disabled a hundred percent. I understand that. But what's the cons then? Uh, that somebody puts guns in their hands and programs them to kill people? I mean, are we going to just wait until the first uh, robot mass murder? I mean, like, you think that's not going to happen? I mean, who are we kidding here? Why would you create something that has the potential to do that? I don't think that the pros outweigh the cons when it comes to this. 
I just think we need to stop making things because we can. I feel like we used to celebrate the breakthroughs of technology and what we were capable of. Um, but now that we have all these things, I feel like it was a mistake. I mean, people were excited about these phones and now look what they've done to people. It's a new addiction that we created. It just seems like we're obsessed with constantly making things under the guise that it's going to make our lives better. My question to those people is, when is it enough? When is this enough? When is the way that we live enough? There's a downside for having all of society live like kings and queens, ultimately. I mean, the people who are growing up right now who know no other way other than relying on technology to take care of things that people used to take care of themselves before all this technology came about. What happens when the grid shuts down? They're not even going to be able to do basic tasks. I don't know why we don't care about that. I don't know. I just think that we're creating more problems. <laughs>